Today we'll be reviewing a drama, Chinese drama, 2021-2022 Chinese drama with 38 episodes known as God's Snow Stride, SSS. It is a historical romantic Chinese drama. Flashing red lights, driving at night, windowless ride, feeling alive, nothing in sight, forever in flight, follow those lines, we'll make it this time, blurry street lights, work as a guide to memories that we're making tonight. Oh yeah, we'll make it tonight Yeah I'll do anything That I feel like I wanna do I'm living life Like I got nothing left to prove No end in sight Just always staying on the move Oh girl, all night If that's just what I gotta do Life's too short To care about what you can't afford Memories are in what you explore just don't be ignored Go ask for more Go ask for more Cause I've been living life right Like I could just die any minute Don't pull right down the side PCH country limit I don't need a guide Follow lights Take me where I wanna visit Are you alive? I'll just breathe it Cause I've been living life right Like I could just die any minute Don't pull right down the side PCH country limit I don't need a guide is so amazing kind of like reminds me of um yeah, it's been a while i saw good historical drama and this drama had most of my brilliant and interesting engaging actors and actresses they are zhang rayon lee gengzi zhang tiani hong jun meng zeng yi chun li go wei gong yi sang zhang Duan Duan Lu, Janice Man, Kik Zeng Zin, and Tu Tuan Ba. It is a 2021 romantic drama, like I said. Really, now, this family, they are the sword keepers. What would I say? They are the stronghold of the military with over 300,000 soldiers. So, you know, they were the stronghold. They're in the north. They're in the stronghold of this kingdom. And now, the royal family did not like them, did not want to be treated. They wanted to take their power. But this family had the power and the lord of this family is a succession so this man he kept on plotting and plotting and putting things in place for his son has two daughters and two sons now one of the sons was born with an extraordinary supernatural strength and then the other one has nothing <laughs> except he's really cunning and he's brilliant but good-natured and kind now he was under the 
tutelage of the strategist of his father. Now, the father gathered a lot of martial artists with different hang-ups and all that, and they were content staying under him in their different prisons or different situations and were loyal to him because he would always put one thing. Before you think of one thing, he has already thought about 10 steps ahead of you. Now, his wife was murdered, and he never got to know who killed his wife because at that time, he wanted to solidify the kingdom, his place, his family. He didn't want any more war to come out. But it was the royal family that you know had his wife murdered. His wife was also a sword woman. Now his, his son was sent out, his first son, <laughs> who is, is Zhang Rayon. He was sent out. out. You see him in, I think he acted Joy of Life. Yeah. Zhang Rayon, he toured the whole place, he, almost looking like a beggar, trying to garner experience. He was with one martial artist uh, master so but he never learned martial arts he said it was not useful to him and he didn't need it to survive so he kept on going through all these places with so many enemies sometimes his father would even send killers to him just to make him just to teach him to be ready to use his reasoning his brain his mind his head you know to get out of every dangerous situation and get stronger at the end of the day he comes back to his father's house and his father welcomes him and then there's this princess of Zuzi, vanquished kingdom that everyone thought the whole, the king, the queen, the princess had all died, not knowing that this particular lord had saved their daughter and kept the daughter under his son as a servant. Along the line, they now exposed it that it was the princess. It's an intense drama. Intense drama that I cannot really explain except to tell you that it is a drama worth watching. It is a drama worth, you know, how do I get? How do I make you uh, um, see this? It's a drama that you really should see. It's drama that even if you don't understand the Chinese um, language, which I don't, the English subtitling is enough for you to follow this drama to the end. It's a drama like none other. It's a drama that will carry you along. As a matter of fact, I was so crazy when we got to the thirty-eight episodes. Like I was, I was hungry. Like, are you serious? Are you telling me that it's just 38 episodes? Because I read somewhere else that that sort no stride was 50 episodes. How come I'm seeing 38 episodes? I just kept on waiting, but at the end of the day, it was 38 episodes. Now everyone is just wondering when are we going to get a second season? Which is the same thing as Joy of Life. Joy of Life left us in a cliffhanger, and this you know, sort no stride is also leaving us in a, at a cliffhanger. Now the siblings have gathered and they've supposedly killed the people that killed their mom. Okay, fine and good. There are so many things. He is still joining back to go and meet his father who has already handed him the not the military of the north. How is he going to get there? Even though he's becoming good in martial arts and all that. When is he going to meet the Susi princess again who had gone back to her people? Meanwhile, the character that acted for the Susi princess, I think is Yi Jeng Zai. Yeah, she did not do a good job at all. There was no chemistry between those two. The little thing, the little love thing that was even present there was just because Zhang Ruiyu did so much. It was so bad. It was so, so bad. I'm like, why didn't they use some other men, female lead? It would have been better than the nonsense that we were seeing. It wasn't worth it at all. It was annoying. It was so annoying. She just messed it all up. Even not for the, you know, the action that was there, the intrigue, the plotting, the betrayal, everything, you know, that made that other side to be a bit, um, not important, you know, it would have been so obvious that the main female lead was just not it at all. But all in all, it's an amazing, amazing, brilliant watch that the writer took his or her time to write. And the director and producers did amazingly well to bring out the best in these actors and actresses, I'm telling you. I am so telling you. Which brings me to the end of this drama review. I'll be rating it a 9 over 10. Up there you see my Korean movie reviews, my Chinese movie reviews, my Nigerian movie reviews, and then again my movie reviews. Thank you so much for doing this for me. I'll see you next time. Bye.